Peace, peace, Indra Ali, coming back at you with another video. And in this video, I'm going to answer another question I received from one of my email subscribers at indraemo.com. Question, I would like you to address dealing with a family member that has a mental challenge in depression, uh, mutism, emotional instability, etc. Dealing with it from a spiritual standpoint. This is a very interesting question. So essentially, a person want to know about mental disorder, mental challenges as it relates to the spiritual component. Mental disorders, if diagnosed differently, they may not be a mental disorder. What I mean by that is if you talk to someone who is spiritual, who is, say, clairvoyant, meaning they, they can see, they can see through the spiritual realm. You may say, oh, man, they're so psychic or they're so intuitive or a person that sees ghosts or whatever. You might say, oh, they have a well-developed gift. Now, what is the difference between that individual and someone who says they see, for lack of better words, they see demons all the time and they feel that they're possessed? One person has control over their quote unquote gift or their curse, depending on how you look at it. And the other person doesn't have control over it. When you talk to people or if you have experience with people who've been in mental hospitals, who's been in the psych ward, they're dealing with mental challenges that seem beyond their control. And it seems like nobody believes them. Like me personally, I have someone in my family who is classified as schizophrenic and she sees things all the time. I've asked her, like, you know, what did you see? She told me she seen things that didn't happen, but in her reality, it happened. So what I believe is going on with a lot of people with so-called mental disorders, I believe they have very high spiritual gifts. I believe they're highly in tune spiritually, but I believe that they have a hard time dealing with it while in a human body. The best analogy I can use, and I use this often, is imagine being in this reality but you're like it's in a dream or imagine being in a dream, but your dreams are real. Like imagine literally walking through this reality, seeing purple elephants like you would in a dream or see a monkey come and just talk to you the same as if you were in a dream. People with mental disorders, especially like schizophrenia and visions and stuff like that. People with those disorders literally are seeing things that we do not see. So we call them crazy. We call them off the rocker, we put them in, in um, rooms with padded, you know what I mean, padded rooms and stuff like that because they can't articulate or they can articulate what they see, but most humans can't see them. So mental disorders from a spiritual significance, if they weren't classified as um, a mental disorder in a different lifetime, they may be classified as high spiritual gifts.